If you're a price action trader, you might be familiar with a concept that has been making the rounds lately called the fair value gap. Fair value gaps are most commonly used amongst price action traders and are defined as instances in which there are inefficiencies or imbalances in the market. These imbalances simply suggest that buying and selling are not equal. Fair value gaps are created within a three candle sequence and are commonly visualized on a chart as a large candle whose neighboring candles, upper and lower wicks, do not fully overlap the large candle. The reason why a trader might be interested in where these fair value gaps occur is simply that the imbalance created by them can become a magnet for price in the future. Like any other indicator on a TradingView platform, the fair value gap indicator can be added to your charts by selecting it within your indicators button. There are quite a few options out there. I personally prefer this ICT fair value gap by Emat L. As we can see, the indicator spots bearish and bullish fair value gaps by displaying the red and green boxes. It might look a bit complicated if you're a beginner, but don't worry, I will show you how to utilize this tool properly in a second. I will also backtest it 100 times to prove how well it works in different market conditions. By the way, this strategy can be used for crypto, stocks, forex or any other market with high liquidity. For my backtesting, I'm going to be using the price of Ethereum USD on a 5 minute time frame. Okay, now let's understand how to take long positions with this strategy. So first, we need to have a bullish candlestick that forms a fair value gap. When the fair value gap is formed, a green box will appear between the high and low of the neighboring candlesticks. By the way, we take into account only the most recent box that appears on a chart. All these fair value gaps that happened in the past do not matter. The second step will be to wait for the price action to pull back into this green box. The candlestick must be closed inside the box. Also, for a pullback to be valid, we need to have at least one candlestick that will be fully closed above the green box before the pullback. In this example, we see that we have three candlesticks that are fully closed above the box. If the price action closes below the box, the signal is automatically invalid. In that case, we're going to be looking for a new fair value gap. Okay, the next step will be to wait for a strong bullish candlestick to close above the green box. Okay, we see that the candlestick has been formed and now we can place a buy order. The stop loss will be set slightly below the most recent swing low. And for this strategy, we're going to be targeting one and a half times the risk. We see that the price action easily triggers our take profit target. Okay, let me give you one more example. In this example, we see that a new fair value gap has been formed. A valid pullback also occurred, and we had a strong bullish candlestick that closed above the fair value gap. Okay, now let's understand the sell positions. So, for a short position to be valid, we first need to have a new bearish fair value gap formed in the price action. When such gap is formed, a new red box will appear on a chart. This box is formed between the low and high of the neighboring candlesticks. The second step will be to wait for the pullback. And again, a pullback is valid only when we have at least one candlestick that fully broke below the fair value gap. If the price action closes above the box, the signal is automatically invalid. The next step will be to wait for a bearish candlestick that would break below the box. A sell order will be placed at the close of the trigger candlestick. The stop loss will be set slightly above the recent swing high. The take profit target at 1.5 times the risk. As we can see traders, this strategy is really easy to utilize. Okay, let me give you one more short example. This fair value gap is a bit harder to spot because we have overlapping boxes. But if we take a closer look, we see that the most recent fair value gap was formed on this bearish candlestick. We also had a valid pullback. And now we are seeing that the price action closed below the box. Okay, let me give you some examples of invalid signals. 
In this example, we see that the most recent fair value gap was formed on his bullish candlestick. However, the market did not respect it and the price action broke below it. And as we already know, these conditions do not confirm the entry. The same thing happened to this bearish fair value gap. I notice when the fair value gap is tiny, the price action usually does not respect it. So we really need to have a massive bullish or bearish candlestick for a strong fair value gap. After a strong candlestick, there is a high chance that the market will continue to go in the same direction. Okay traders, now you know exactly how to trade with the strategy. Let's proceed to our backtesting. The backtesting is finished and the results for the strategy are really impressive. The win rate is 67% and we gained over 270% of profit on our account. The initial account size was set at $100 and I was risking 2% per trade in order to make 3. The profit factor for the strategy is 3.05 and we had 8 consecutive wins against 3 consecutive losses. The maximum drawdown does not exceed 10% which is really good. So yeah, definitely give this indicator a try and see how it goes. If you're looking to increase the win rate for the strategy even more, you can add another indicator to the chart. You can add a good volume indicator or a baseline or even both. You can use for example a 200 EMA and a volume with MA. So you're only going to be looking to buy when the price action is closed above the exponential moving average. Also when the candlestick closes above the fair value gap box, you need to have sufficient volume in the market. For that, a green volume bar needs to break above the moving average. These are really good additional confirmations, obviously you will be getting less signals, but those signals will have higher accuracy. Ok traders, thanks for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. By the way, if you want to see more high win rate strategies for crypto, check out this playlist right here.